The way I learned it, the verb to disappear is intransitive. That means it can't have an object. All kinds of things can disappear. My wallet, my car keys, files on my computer, a pot of my favorite marmalade, the memory of the name of an obscure Baroque composer. But if I want to make something disappear, I have to express it like that, to make something disappear, or possibly to cause something to disappear. But that's not what happens in English nowadays. Indeed, as I was shaken to discover, this has been happening in English since 1897. That means that in grammatical talk, the verb to discover can be transitive. So it can have an object. That means that you can disappear something. All this came to light because I read in an online news item that a government in South America had been disappearing people who opposed the current regime. There is even a word in Spanish for people who were disappeared like this during the Argentinian military regime in the 1970s. Desparecido. Then I remembered that I had read it in Joseph Heller's novel Catch-22. Heller wrote, It isn't my fault they're going to disappear him, is it? I shouldn't even be telling you. It is possible to disappear all manner of things. Threatening to disappear your children's mobile phones is a threat close to Armageddon. I wish I knew who has disappeared my car keys. I'm Rowley Sussex, and this has been your word for today.